something, right? Be careful, nigga. Joe gonna fuck you up, man. <laughs> Joe gonna try to fuck you up, nigga. And he said, get the fuck out of here. We hung up. But yeah, yeah, that nigga mad. You know that nigga Joe mad. He definitely gonna get mad at that. He gonna try to, you know, he gonna try to definitely put his power behind it to, to, to make sure um, Wag understands. I mean, that's up to Wag, though, what I told him. I've been, I go, I've been going through my shit and ain't no fear here. Ain't never been no fear here. The only thing that I feel that he's doing, he's cheating because, you know, he got those people in high places. They can stop, you know what I'm saying, with my music and they can stop a lot of things as far as my business. But I don't give two motherfucking fucks about that when it comes to the truth and what I stand for and what my people are going through it and what they stand for. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be a slow death if you let them. If you let them, they're going to start, you're going to rock you to death, man. You're going to rock you slowly to death. But all that, yeah, 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 whatever, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to throw that poison behind your back. So might as well do that shit in the front. Do that shit where everybody can see, motherfuckers, stop behind your hand. And that's what it is with me. You know what I'm saying? If the niggas just, if they, they had some, some integrity about themselves, they could just admit it. But admit it, man, and do the right thing. Because at the end of the day, that's what I want niggas to do. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and don't say, you know what I'm saying, some things that you do as far as like, like you're doing some good for somebody and you're not doing it. You're lying. You're capping all day, nigga. Yo, you fucking cap. Turn that fucking cap back, you know, back to the your normal side, straight up ahead. And stop being fucking uh, snake, you know, head niggas from the back and shit like that. That's all I, I you know, I, I, I'm voicing my opinion about. Right, right. And then, um, you know, with the whole situation, like you being from New York, bro, and uh, a lot of people will say that WAC 100 is targeting people from New York, whether it's the guys that's from the streets or the entertainers. Like uh, one of the situations that happened more recently is um, Mayno versus WAC 100. Like, have you heard about that situation and what's your thoughts? I, I heard about the Mayno situation and, uh, and uh, but I haven't really uh, tuned into the, um, to him and Mayno and WAC situation too much. I don't know what he was saying. I mean, the Detroit, I, have, I don't know what it's right. WAC Detroit, I have, like basically yeah. WAC 100, you know, he had, um, you know, he has said some things about Troy Ave. He said that he was basically a rat. And then when, um, you know, Wolf from the Facto podcast, as well as Trife Gangster came on the app and they had spoke to WAC 100 and um, I guess he changed his thoughts. So he started being pro Troy Ave and, um, you know, Mayno had put up a video in regards to Troy Ave saying that he had his chain for, you know, come seven years, May 25th. That's actually when. Troy, um, not Troy Av, but Tax Stone will be, get get sentenced, you know, for the um the whole situation that, that happened at Irving Plaza. That's an update for y'all family on May 25th, the same day that it happened. But um, you know, so he basically had this chain for like seven years and Wax seen it. So he went online and he said that, you know, from this post that Mayno had put up after the situation was saying, like, you know, he rocks with Troy Av and you know, um, they need to stand united, you know, and to on this video, you know, more recently, he said that he'd been holding this chain for seven years. Just if Troy Ave try to act funny or do anything yeah. that will go against his brand. So WAC 100 pretty much responded on that situation and said that, you know, he, that wasn't real. And, you know, um, but he, here's my thing, though, even with that being said, like, I know WAC 100 been the guy that been on Clubhouse and all through social media saying that he don't want people speaking on California business. And um, him jumping into New York business is like, is he a public figure? Is he a blogger? Or is he the business guy? Like, I'm trying to find out what is he. But I want you to just chime in on all what I just said, though. Salute. Oh, man. Um, that's typical WAC. That's typical WAC. But that situation there, like, that's, a, that's somebody died on that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, rest in peace to Banger. And, uh, I mean, when you see the, I don't know that, like, like Mano just came out and he also said that he was there and he saw Troy Ave being the aggressor. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he was, he was, he was in there, like, act, looking for a problem. And, um, you know, Tax Stone just did what he did, whatever. He trying to stay more like, you know, like Tax Stone was doing what he was supposed to do or trying to protect himself and all of that, you know what I'm saying, on that angle. Um, but, um, but I, I mean, listen, how it happened or whatever, it was, I think it was unnecessary. I just think it was unnecessary for all that to happen over, over some, some, some 
computer beef. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really computer beef, different opinions. You know, he feel this way about them and not tough and all this shit. And it's like, that, that, all that shit, and they get, you know, somebody died. For that, that shit is whack. You know, um, the after effects of it, you know what I'm saying? Who had the gun? You know what I'm saying? Who had the gun? Who got in that club with that gun? You know, it's the club's fault for letting that nigga in with the gun. And it's also, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's also a situation where this nigga Troy Ave didn't have no weapons. And you know what I'm saying? Whether he, you know, he he got out. He, I mean, I don't know, but if that's the case, I wouldn't probably shot out my way out of there unless I'm hitting the right people or I would have been a little more, um, more, more with my well, shot. well you know like, look, look, Cuban Links. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but Trey Ave, he actually took the stand and um allegedly, as far as what they were saying in this court hearing, um doing one point one of these days, you know, um shout out to BBN Network, um Jack Frost, he was covering the day by day, and um they said basically that they was going to do a reduction on Troy Ave since as far as the guns that he was caught, and they was going to give him a year. You know, for his testimony inside this trial that took place with Tax Stone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's um. Uh, I mean, they got the cameras. I don't, I don't think you even have to take the stand, but that's a situation. That's like like one of the million man, like the one million situation where 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 it's crazy because you know, like you got to put yourself in that situation where. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have a gun and all that. You took, you get it from the, the actual person who was shooting the gun, who brung the gun in, because he lost it somehow. And you shoot your way out of there you know, for safety. And then, you know, I don't know. I don't even, I mean, testifying, of course, that's, that's wrong. That's wrong in the middle from the world we come from. But, it, you know, to, to the majority of you, a law abiding citizen, you know, in that, in that type of sense, you did the right thing. And you was in the right to do that. That's self defense. But we don't play with the moves where we come from, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you gotta change your kick in here too when it comes to that, you know, to that level. Um, you know, you're supposed to. Uh, what we believe is that you're supposed to do what you need to do, you no know, testify, and, and you know, you gotta plead the fifth on that, man. You gotta just show, you know, you got the camera. Fuck out of here! Don't put me on the stand. You got the camera. You see what happens. You know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, like you have to testify. I don't think, uh, um, but it's it's one of those situations, you know, and then. To really find out the motive of it, the beginning, how it started, and what happened really in that club, that's the main thing when it comes to us. Like, we want to know, you know, more like what the fuck it is, because the niggas are the aggressors. I understand if you're business, the niggas catch a beat down, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You could have, that would have been a, that type of situation. But to bring a gun inside, and then that shit transpiring when somebody dies, that's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, nigga, the law is the law, man. You know, we live in a world where, where, of course, we got underground laws and we got, you know, above ground laws. And um, above ground laws, when you get caught up like that, I mean, it's a fine line. It's a fine line, you know. Um, but it's 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 something that I, I don't even, I don't have nothing to say. But just 